tons in 2002. Several support channels, comprising two marketing offices, one in Jakarta and another one in Surabaya, a team of dedicated coal experts and representatives worldwide, provide support to customers and prospective clients. Adaro's technical support team includes an expert with more than 30 years experience in the field of subbituminous coals and lignite, who is always available to customers for expert advice on the handling and combustion of Envirocoal or any other questions. Adaro is firmly committed to community development. Intensive dialogue with the local people forms the basis for addressing their social, economic and environmental requirements. Adaro has invested in many sustainable community development programs, including the establishment of rice farms, fish farms and local cooperatives. The most notable assistance, however, is in education and health. Adaro also provides income to many families of the region as it tries to recruit its workforce from the local community wherever possible. As part of our commitment to preserving the environment, Adaro undertakes comprehensive land rehabilitation programs, creating agricultural land in place of former unused areas will benefit present and future generations. Adaro will continue to make meaningful contributions to the community and will expand its development programs to ensure the long-term sustainability of local economies. Contented customers, an excellent product, a clean environment and a prosperous and healthy workforce have all combined to form the success story that is Adaro. Adaro began mining coal in Kalimantan in 1991, with all production coming from one single 30-meter thick seam at Paringin. With increased production, development commenced at Tutupan, where there are mineable reserves of more than 600 million metric tons. Adaro's agreement area is in the center of South Kalimantan province, 15 kilometers east of Tanjung, and covers an area of 36,000 hectares. Within this area, four coal resources have been delineated, Tutupan, Wara, Paringin, and Warukin. The first three have had the greatest significance for commercial exploitation, but since 1999, Tutupan has been the focus for all mining operations. The total resource of all four areas is almost 2 billion metric tons of exceptionally clean surface mineable coal, contained in large seams ranging from 15 meters to 50 meters in thickness. The resource has been defined by ongoing exploration and drilling since 1982, with over 1,500 drill holes in the Tutupan area alone. Resource data has been confirmed by independent mining consultants and has been based on a maximum cutoff ratio of 4 BCM overburden to 1 metric ton of coal or to a depth of 250 meters. Adaro carries out annual drilling programs of up to 10,000 meters to continually update its resource estimates. Mining of the coal is by open cut methods using bulldozers, excavators, loaders and trucks. The coal is loaded directly onto double and triple road trains of up to 170 metric tons and driven 75 kilometers along a specially constructed road to a barge loading facility at Kalanis on the Burrito River. When the coal arrives at Kalanis, it is discharged onto one of four dump stations or onto the raw coal stockpile. It then goes through crushing systems before being taken by overhead conveyors to 200,000 metric ton capacity stockpiles. Loading it onto barges is carried out by bulldozers pushing the coal onto underground reclaimed conveyors, which then feed it onto fixed loading conveyors at two berths. Barging operations are by tug and flat top barge combinations transporting coal either directly to consumers receiving ports 
or to offshore anchorages for transshipment to bulk carriers or to coal terminal facilities. Transshipment is by loading from barges to bulk carriers at an anchorage 15 nautical miles off the Burrito River entrance channel. It is carried out using either the ship's equipment or three floating cranes, which have a combined capacity of up to 30,000 metric tons of coal per day. Adaro also transships coal through the Pulaulaut terminal, which can handle a capacity of 10 million metric tons per year and can load Panamax vessels in less than two days. PT Adaro Indonesia operates under a coal cooperation agreement with the government of Indonesia giving it the right to mine coal within its agreement area until the year 2022, with rights to extend by mutual agreement. In 1982, a contract to explore and develop coal resources in the Tanjung area of South Kalimantan was agreed between the Spanish and Indonesian governments, and subsequently PT Adara was formed to carry out these activities. Some five years later, Discussions between the original Spanish shareholders and Australian and Indonesian mining companies culminated in an agreement for New Hope Corporation and Indonesian interests to take over the management of the concession. Further restructuring resulted in Edison Mission Energy USA through a wholly owned subsidiary and PT Harapan Insani Indotama becoming minority shareholders. The Indonesian shareholding is now 51%. When PT Adaro Indonesia started mining in 1991, it made a commitment to become a responsible member of the rural communities by developing programs and humanitarian projects to enhance local economies and living standards. Additionally, Adaro established training and staff development schemes to upgrade local educational and vocational standards and allow Adaro to maximize local employment. Today, Adaro and its contractors have a workforce of about 4,000 people, of whom more than 70% are local residents. For the future, Adaro intends to continue to maintain sales to customers under term contracts of one year or longer in order to guarantee the highest level of customer support in handling, storage and utilization of EnviroCoal. Partnership relations will be sought with clear communications between Adaro and its customers. Adaro will continue to focus on increased productivity, enhancement of mining practices including environmental rehabilitation and workforce training and development to ensure that Adaro standards continue to meet international best mining practices. Adaro will continue to expand its community development programs to ensure that the long-term sustainability of local economies is guaranteed. All this makes Adaro an exceptional and outstanding coal company for which it was awarded Financial Times Global Energy Awards in three consecutive years for the best coal mining company in the world, 1999, the best marketing campaign in the energy sector, 2000, and the best community development program, 2001. Adara was also presented with the prestigious Primaniata Award in 2001, for being the best corporate citizen of South Kalimantan. PT Adaro Indonesia has been mining coal since 1991. Because of its environmentally positive attributes, this coal has been trademarked globally as EnviroCoal. Production and sales of EnviroCoal have increased steadily and the company now maintains an output capacity of 23 million metric tons a year. EnviroCoal is well suited as a direct feed or for blending with more common high ash and sulfur coals. 
consistently resulting in considerable environmental, economic, and technical benefits. EnviroCoal is used in 34 major power utilities and by other industrial customers in 18 countries. Major export markets include Spain and Italy in Europe, the USA, Taiwan, Japan and Hong Kong in North Asia, and India, Thailand and the Philippines in South and Southeast Asia. EnviroCoal is also supplied extensively to the Indonesian domestic market with major sales to the power and cement industries. Envirocoal, with its ultra-low sulfur, ash and nitrogen oxide, is a sub-bituminous steaming coal with moderate energy. It is suitable for power generation, cement manufacture and industrial utilization. It is easily stored in stockpiles for long periods of time with no detrimental effect to the environment. Envirocoal is a reactive coal eliminating the need for it to be ground as finely as other coals to burn well and thereby saving energy. The high surface area combined with higher volatility results in excellent ignition, stable combustion and a near complete char burnout. Combustion efficiency is often greater than 99.7%. The quality of coal within the deposits is consistently clean, both vertically and laterally through the seams, and therefore the only processing required is crushing and sizing. Envirocoal is the most environmentally friendly solid fuel available. It has far lower emission levels of gases and particles than any other solid fuel. Compared with other coals, the amounts of captured ash waste are very small, and their chemical composition renders them benign and suitable for recycling. The occurrence of sulfur in Envirocoal is lower than almost any other coal in the world, so the sulfur dioxide emissions are lower than for other coals, sometimes even after desulfurization of flue gases. In most furnaces, the use of Envirocoal has resulted in a reduction of nitrogen oxide emissions by as much as 40% in comparison with other coals. The exact percentage reduction will vary according to the unit and the operating conditions. In most dust collectors, the emissions from Envirocoal compare favorably with those of other coals. In fact, more advanced scientific tests have shown a marked reduction in particulate emissions from Envirocoal due to the very low ash content combined with its favorable fly ash resistivity. Once a power plant has been built, the cost of electricity or steam is aggregated into three cost areas, and Envirocoal brings economic benefits to each of these. Market conditions determine the fuel costs, and with its expanding sales, Envirocoal has shown itself to be competitive with higher ranked coals per unit of energy. Because of lower ash impact, considerable savings are made in the cost of maintaining and operating equipment such as pulverizers, coal pipes, and boiler tubes. Envirocoal can be used to meet environmental regulations without the need for flue gas desulfurization, and this brings significant reductions in capital and operating costs by eliminating the need for limestone scrubbing plants. Also, in many cases, it is possible to eliminate the cost of selective catalytic reduction systems for removal of nitrogen oxide, as Envirocoal's emissions are low enough to meet the most stringent standards. P.T. Adaro's concern for the environment and the community goes far beyond simply producing the cleanest fossil fuel in the world. The company acknowledges the potential disruptiveness of the mining operations on a previously rural population and ensures that the community benefits from its presence by making a commitment to community development programs. From the outset, the aim was to address the social, economic and environmental impacts and issues created in subsistence level rural communities by open-cut coal mining operations in such a way that they would provide positive benefits to the community both during and beyond the life of the mine. The basis for this was communication. 
by informing all levels of the community of all ongoing planning relating to the mining development and operations and then listening to what the community required. Importantly, a support structure was established, ensuring that the two-way communication process would remain an inherent element of the community service program. The key to the program has been the development and annual review of a plan, which addresses the areas of community-based business development, educational programs, religious programs, and social welfare programs. The stated objective of all of these is that they eventually become self-sustaining. Among Adaro's programs are the provision of capital and ongoing financial support for such ventures as a village bakery, cooperative stores, fish ponds and equipment for fish farming. Local infrastructure and agriculture are also important and Adaro has assisted in many ways by, for example, constructing irrigation canals for rice fields and introducing a high-yield strain of rice. Rehabilitated mining areas have been converted to vegetable nurseries and small holdings for the production of palm oil. By doing this, Adaro assists the local economy and provides the foundations for future prosperity. Adaro also remembers the community's spiritual and educational needs and helps with the restoration and construction of places of worship and scholarships and assistance to local schools. Substantial funding is provided to special programs, such as the John Fawcett Foundation, which restores the sight of thousands of people suffering from cataracts. Under a recent agreement, Yayasan Kamanusia'an will provide medical advice and technical assistance for a mobile eye clinic to be operated by Adaro in South and Central Kalimantan. The overall community service program is one of being part of the community, listening to the community and developing the community in all aspects. Mining necessitates major changes to the landscape, but Adaro is determined to preserve the environment by undertaking large-scale land rehabilitation schemes. As Adaro's mining operations move on, previously mined areas are filled in and converted to good quality agricultural land. Having reinstated and often improved the land, Adaro goes on to provide business assistance programs such as the establishment of rice farms and rubber plantations. Input includes advice, training and loans, and of course, ongoing support by purchasing the products of these newly created business entities, which assist them in their initial stages of development. This process benefits not only the present population, but will also provide support for future generations. These activities demonstrate that Adaro has a real commitment to the community and the environment. This is a firmly held philosophy at Adaro, and the company is proud to be considered as a leader in community development and environmental protection.